Hey guys, so I just want to make a, a, a little bit more in-depth video talking about these hands-on pictures uh, from MVC 2014 uh, about the Galaxy S5 uh, because some people, uh, I saw the comments when I made first video about this, a lot of people were disappointed and were saying, or I mean, I even checked on Phone Arena an article about this uh, and every single comment was negative about the S5. Uh, it seems like people have very, very high expectations uh, all the time, every single year with every single new device that's coming out and I just want to say people like chill out relax I mean we all been through this many times people become super super mega disappointed and then the phone comes out on the market and people realize oh wow it's actually pretty good and this is something that's been happening with both Samsung 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 smartphones and iPhones uh, and I mean, me with a little bit ex of experience, uh, it starts to get a little bit bored. <laughs> bore, I mean, boring and lame when you every single year, all the time, you always know people are gonna get disappointed because they think that the phone is gonna cure their cancer, the phone is gonna cure diabetes, or diabetes, it, the phone is gonna cure that you're fat, the phone is gonna cure that you're small and make you big and normal and sexy. No, it's not gonna do all those things. It, why? why? I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, remember, I mean, these companies are trying to make money. They are trying to make money, so uh, they're just going to do what they think is necessary for people to buy the device. And a lot of, uh, with smartphones and stuff, a lot of that is all about marketing. So, uh, Samsung is extremely good at marketing, Apple is also extremely good at marketing, and people that are not saying that, I mean, and they are building up a brand, uh, and uh, I mean, the marketing is super important, and they are super good at it, and uh, the thing is that Samsung is really, really dominating right now uh, in, in the Android market, so basically just by bumping up the specs, not changing the design too much, uh, I mean, they don't have to change the design. They use taking the good things from other companies. Like they, they did look here at Sony and they saw that Sony had a waterproof smartphone. Uh, so what they did here, it seems like this phone is going to be waterproof. Uh, that basically means that they took the great thing from Sony and implemented it into this device. Now, they didn't just do that, but they also looked at Apple and they saw, okay, Apple is doing some kind of fingerprint thing. We are going to try to implement that. And it seems like they successfully did it with this device. Now, we don't know exactly if this is the Galaxy S5 Prime uh, or if this is the Galaxy S5. We have heard rumors about the Galaxy S5 Prime, uh, but we, we just have to... Um, uh, um, uh, I mean, we're gonna get the real stuff in a few hours and then we finally will know, but yes, uh, one of these things is that you will have a flap at the, at the, at the bottom. That's something that I, honestly, I don't like uh, with, um, uh, with the Sony's products. Uh, and I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get annoyed by it, uh, if this is the S5, if it's gonna have one of these flaps. Uh, it's gonna be a cool thing though, uh, th that if it's gonna be waterproof. I mean, the durability is a big thing that Samsung is focusing on, and I think that one of the reasons also why they don't go with Fox Leather back here uh, is just because if, if they do go with Fox Leather back, uh, the leather back that they did have on the Galaxy Note 3, uh, and then it, it's gonna be in water, I mean, waterproof phone with leather on the back, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, so that that is why I think uh, they didn't go with that. And I don't think, I mean, Samsung is trying to make money. Uh, Samsung, they don't really care about all these nerds saying, oh, blah, 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 Samsung, nobody's gonna buy your devices. Trust me, people are gonna buy. People are gonna buy. For, because people, most majority of people, they are not geeks and nerds and, and are that into, uh, I mean, like a, a five millimeter phone. Uh, but, but I'm gonna be honest, uh, Samsung has a lot to do uh, on the design uh, aspect or design area. I mean, we would love to see uh, less bezels, way thinner, and um, I'm not really, I, I think it looks like a bigger S4, okay, if, if I'm gonna be honest. I think it looks like a bigger S4. Uh, for me personally, I don't really have a big problem with that. Uh, I think it's fun though that Samsung has a lot of things to work on in the future, because I, I wanna see cool phones evolve and expand um, here o over the years. Uh, I mean, we're not gonna get all, none of these companies are gonna give us all the good stuff uh, at once because if they give us all the good stuff, 
then uh, they will y yeah they will sell a good smartphone that year with everything uh, but then they have to come up with an even more amazing product next year and the next year behind that. Uh, so what they're trying to do, I think, is they are, they are slowing down a little bit. And this is something that all companies are doing uh, so they don't run out of ideas. So they still have something that they can work on in the future. Because, I mean, uh, let's be honest. Yeah, they're trying to make money. They're trying to make a lot of money. And if you don't like their products, you don't have to buy it. But apparently people do like Samsung apparently people do like Apple so people are gonna still uh, um, I mean people are still going to buy I know this is a little bit of a messy video but I just wanted to talk a little bit about that uh, and uh, I'm not gonna compare the specs at the moment don't be super hard also on the things that's coming out right now before we don't even know if it's the official stuff we have no idea uh, this could just be some random thing uh, and also pretty interesting here. They went with like a, a back here with ha which has dots on kind of looks like they took the design of the Nexus 7 uh, and those dots so you, you will have a good grip on the back uh, Which I think probably will be better than the glossy back uh, that the S4 had because a good grip That's always nice and I mean they have made many many upgrades in in in, in the uh, in the internal in, in the internal side for me personally the bigger display is a big thing I always want it bigger and I it seems like they're going from 5 inch to 5 and 2 inch now and I do enjoy that uh, and then it seems like they made something with the camera here it almost looks like a projector or something that looks pretty sick uh, and you can see that the camera looks bigger so probably going from either 16 to or a 30 megapixel camera like on the S4 to either a 16 or 20 megapixel camera a, improved internals in the in the processor and probably a better GPU graphic processing unit a better display as well probably a higher resolution display a, a brand new version of TouchWiz uh, I mean there's a lot of things to be excited about and uh, I mean especially one of the cool things I think personally waterproof if it's gonna be waterproof I really enjoy that water and dust proof uh, is something that I really enjoy I also do hope they have some kind of new version of Gorilla Glass so it could be even more durable uh, on the front side uh, so uh, we just have to see here what they're gonna do but um, yeah in a few hours I might even have a live stream you can kind of see the new flat UI here which looks pretty good but all you that freaks out don't freak out uh, I mean people do it all the time I mean you just, you just chill out a little bit and people are making it sound like World War 3 or something uh, this is the gold and color edition as well, which uh, looks pretty pretty interesting. I'm not sure if I like it I'm not even sure if I like the dots, uh, but then again these pictures are a little bit blurry it's, it's not the best uh, So we're probably gonna see the good stuff coming out from zombie boy in a few hours And then we get some better pictures and better official pictures and we can definitely take a closer look at it And also see if we're gonna get uh, two variants of the galaxy s5 in the beginning We definitely know that we're gonna get that in the future and here you can see the s health app which definitely looks interesting here with the brand new UI uh, so uh, yeah we just have to wait and see what they're gonna do and uh, the, the back here definitely see I wonder what this is uh, looks interesting it seems to be kind of dual the flash here as well something SD and SIM card still uh, yeah uh, and you can see a pretty interesting the battery looks very very tall uh, hopefully it could be like 3000 milliamp that we got rumors about on the S5 retail box leak uh, but it could also be a lot less but I think the Samsung has improved it a little bit uh, because they, they usually do that they are pretty good at that and then you can also see the, the speaker there on the back uh, which we don't know how it will sound uh, but it's something else that Sony needs to work on their speaker sounds horrible so yeah just a little bit more of an in-depth video here talking about the hands-on pictures uh, I, I felt that I wanted to do a video like this as well go a little bit more in-depth and again this could be the Galaxy S5 Prime this, this may not even be the Galaxy S5 we have no idea but we will know in the future and this is a geek channel so that's why I'm making a long video about use some pictures there peace out